Okay. I was away far too long. Okay, it wasn't entirely my fault, I promise. <laughs> I swear it wasn't all my fault. But anyway, hi to our lives, better likes waffles here. Hope you can hear me okay, you see me okay, you'll hear the game okay, and you're singing okay, and it doesn't feel like being a jerk to me. Um, as you can see, I decided to go with one of the other outfits. It's feminine but practical. The more I looked at it, the more the more it grow grew on me. I'd love to know how people make these things, seriously. Put this over here. Now I gotta set the table and everything. Okay, hang on. Not quite there yet. Alright, now as to why I was away for so long, um, not entirely my fault. I swear, <laughs> it was not entirely my fault. I was just setting up and getting ready to wash my face and everything, and my dog decides he wants to go out. It's like, dude, your timing is atrocious, dog. <laughs> So I put him out, I give him his food and such and his treat, and then after I'm done with that I wash my face. Which I made sure it didn't take as long this time. But apparently it still did. Hank was also waiting for Oscar some of that, not that he took long. He doesn't like being wet. <laughs> he hates rain and it's really pouring down <laughs> right now. Alright, I have tested the game. It should be okay. Although I just saw a lag spike on my model, which concerns me. I have turned down so many of my settings, I don't know what else I can do. I looked up more video settings I could downlo download, turn off or lower, and it's just like... If I'm still having problems, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Alright, hang on. It's not set. Because we did Lords of Shadow last time, I gotta switch it. What I would say, Midna, just make sure if there's one for each game. Um, do you realize how many different things that would be? Yeah, let's not do that, okay? Ah, <gasps> fire! I missed you the other day. Although, it was Christmas, so I'm glad you weren't here, actually. You should be spending that time with people you care about. <laughs> Although, hey, since you're in here, that does mean you can pick what goes on the table again. <laughs> Actually, I'll, I'll do it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, you know what I feel like today? Okay, preferably not something that's going to be in the way of the game. Mm. Anyone like matcha? Because I have a matcha cake. <laughs> I just put some stuff on my face, soaking in at the moment. And I did turn Arrow on my PS4. But I'm not sure I'm going to watch it a lot because with Skyrim I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. Oh, I really gotta blow my nose though. Why am I so warm lately? Gosh, for days I've been cold, now I'm being really warm? What the heck? <coughs> oh. Bleh. Uh. I'm actually role playing my character. Her name is Hind, and uh, I never quite figured out what to do with her, so I just made it so she had amnesia when she came to Skyrim. I don't know how most role players do their things with Skyrim. I mean, the guy I got the idea from, my favorite streamer, he just gives them a basic overview and background and goes from there. I actually created Hind like I was writing a story, and that works for me. And in fact, I am in the process of doing a fanfic that follows things she does. 
I was gonna do it by chapter, but I find I have a harder time with that. So I figured I would do it by, like, long or short one-shots. I have a lot to catch up with, though. She's actually done a lot so far. But uh, if you want to know more about Hind, I actually went over that in the very first Skyrim stream I did, and that is on my YouTube, so you can find it in the stream section. I did have a lot of problems with my mods, though, so be aware of that. Okay, the lag spikes aren't terrible. I should not try to voice her until my... blow my nose here. <coughs> Put her hood up. <laughs> About the most basic I can give you is that Hind was on her way to Skyrim for some reason, but she doesn't know why. She ended up getting mixed up with the Stormcloaks, which was purely accidental, not something she intended to do, because they actually found her while she was unconscious. She got attacked by a bandit and hit a rock after she killed it. She found that out from Hadvar. And then when she went back to the border, she found her backpack, which is this, and a couple of possessions were in it. But I'll let you look at the actual thing, too. No more information. And, uh-oh. That's not promising. Hang on. Oh, joy. Well, if the stream dies out of nowhere, I can tell you it's because the power went out. <laughs> Either that or the PC crashes, but it's really windy outside, so the power might go out. Gotta wait for this stuff to soak into my skin so I can blow my nose. Then I have to put the powder on. Just I wish I could have made some better arrows. Yeah. <laughs> My model's wearing one of her other outfits. <coughs> okay, has this soaked in yet? I'm, it's dripping down my throat. For the most part, it has. <coughs> okay, let me mute and blow my nose. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm trying to blow on my effing nose. It looks extra weird in that case. <laughs> now, is this going to follow correctly? Because it has problems sometimes. Okay, no, it's fine. <laughs> I think this is a good day for the model, too. It's mostly following my motions pretty okay. Although she's turned a little bit to the side, but that's alright. <clears throat> Still trying to figure out how to change my voice to give Hind her own voice. I'm not good at it yet. This is my first time RPing a character. When I check on the videos after I upload the streams to YouTube, but she just doesn't sound any different. She sounds like me. And that's not what I'm going for. <coughs> okay. Since we're here... <clears throat> I 
said he saw you speaking to one of the pilgrims at the southern south of the temple. As you told him, he had seen all of you up there. I know what he said, but I only wanted to speak to him for a moment. Well, that stops now. That's fine. Hmm. I know there's a long extended amount of side quests if you do stuff for the Temple of Mara. <clears throat> Trust me, I've watched my favorite streamer do it a couple dozen times. It, is, it looks like a very long, irritating string of side quests, and you come here for one of them. I don't remember the best result for it, but I'll probably say before I do that. <clears throat> anyway, let me try to do this here. <sighs> this village seems just a little bit smaller than Riverwood. No, perhaps bigger, I should say. I guess every place has lumber. Makes enough sense. Keep up, you two. <coughs> Well, that's in terrible condition. What? Calm down. <coughs> hmm. Maybe I'll explore later. Might be more wise to just follow my enchanted map and compass. <coughs> Here? On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Clement? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Rothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. Uh, um, pardon? Is on your way to High Rothgar? <coughs> About to make a delivery up there myself. Uh, what types of deliveries do you make to Hierotgar? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salt <coughs> meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. And in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Hmm, fair. I suppose I could do it for you. After all, I'm headed that way myself. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Is there anything I should watch out for during the climb? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray. <coughs> Hmm. Other Suppose than that, I am geared up. Your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Fair enough. Uh, what can you tell me about High Hrothka? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on It is strange yet yeah, during its wartime. <coughs> Being masters of Bethulia, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Hmm. Indeed. I shall. Alright, Winter. Nico, time to go. Hmm. Although, perhaps... Winter, perhaps you should stay here after all. Come along. Come on, Winter. <coughs> you just stay down here. You'll be safer. I haven't found an easy to understand mod for connecting controller and keyboard. Otherwise, I wouldn't have to do that. <clears throat> the one my favorite streamer uses is for special edition, and I can barely run normal rim, let alone special rim. 
Alright, it's just you and I then, Miko. Let's tread a little carefully. You never know what we'll find up here. Wonderful. Careful, Miko. Well, Miko, you certainly make this easier on me. Gather seven thousand steps is literal. This is going to go quite a ways up, isn't it? Good thing I'm not afraid of heights. Well, the only thing I fear now is a dragon. Can't really shake the memories of Helgen easily. Oh. Uh, hello. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Frostgar. Uh, did you hear the Greybeards call out Dovaki? I did. Strange <coughs> days when the monks would do that. I wonder what it means. Hmm. Good day. To you as well. I suppose not everyone knows what that means. I barely understand myself. Number two, or where's one? Did I walk past it? I suppose I can find it later. Come on, Miko. Be up and safe. <sighs> I'm used to a lot of exercise, but this is a lot of running around for me. Oh, another bear. You look exceedingly more angry than your friend did. No. Oh. Ow. Oh, Miko just saved my rear end. <laughs> uh, I didn't really go back and make more potions after I disabled that one mod. <laughs> Good boy. <clears throat> and that is why she has some magic. Just in case. I like Jack of All Trades characters, but that's kind of hard to do in Skyrim. In fact, it'd be infuriating. At least for me. Ah, oh, come on, really? I was just about to save too. <sighs> wow. I have to fight the bear again. <laughs> uh, I hate that. Yes, it always does. <laughs> 
I've had times where Skyrim is really good, and there's other times where it's really effing bad. <laughs> Well, while it opens up again, let me go apply that powder to my face. I got the important spots covered up with the powder. I mean, you're really only supposed to put it on your breakouts. Same with the tea tree oil. And oh boy, when I first washed my face and started applying that oil, oh, it burns, it burns. <laughs> but hey, if it stings, that means it's working, right? <laughs> well, at least for washing my face daily, although I f didn't do it yesterday, I kind of just didn't feel like it, but washing my face often, I guess I should say, and applying the oil and the powder is actually making a lot of the redness ease off. I'll probably still have to use foundation and concealer to hide a lot of the marks though, unfortunately. <laughs> Whoa. I admire up there. Wait, did this save count, or is this further back? It's further back. Come at me, bruh. We already did this, so I'm not gonna bother voicing hind much here. You missed me. But I didn't miss you. <laughs> if anyone recognizes the voice, that is Serana's voice, but it was the only one I liked a lot for Hind. After all, I'm still working on voicing her, so there's only so much I can do there. Alright, watch it crash again. <laughs> it's probably the snow. What have you what? No! I hate these things. Effin' Ice Wraith. Shove it, you little pill. Am I hitting Miko? Sorry, I'm not that easy to get rid of. Sorry, Miko, if I hit you. Take its teeth. I don't care about the essence. I hate those effing things, they're so hard to hit half the time. They look pretty awesome though. <laughs> well, it's 
slight lag spike. Another bear? Do we have to do this? I'd love to eat hind. That's what it is. I'd love to ask, do bears usually attack people, but this is w way back in the past where the game is based. These days I don't know much about bears. Wolves though, wolves tend to avoid people unless they're low on food. Then, oh yeah, they'll attack someone. Oh, it's an offering. I'm not gonna take it. <laughs> I wouldn't do that in real life. I'm certainly not gonna have Hein do it. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> Come on, Miko. I think we're getting closer. Well, from what the map and compass are telling me, it's still a bit of a distance. built all this or was it already here and they just kind of took over man high heels in this situation just is not a good idea <laughs> It's the first one and all. Oh. Uh, watch your step, Miko. Neither of us fall, and that's it. I know you're over there. Hmm. Tight and close space does not scream we're about to be attacked at all. This won't end well for you. Oh, I knew it. All right then. Come on. You okay, Miko? Alright. Hmm. I still have plenty at home. I don't need to pick this up. Alright, let's go. Good thing no one is at this one at the moment. They've been in danger. The map and compass. I think we're getting there. <sighs> Hope so. It's freezing. These are all over the place, aren't they? She may miss that first one. Yet another. All 
are you? This thing didn't pop up. She must not be that tired. <laughs> oh, Miko, we're here. My goodness, I hope it's warmer in there. Is that... Yes, it is. I will gather this is the offering chest. Here we go. There's even some other little things out here. Come on, Miko. believe I'll be in danger in this place. Well, the backpack is kind of in the way of the armor. Alright, finally we're here. Mostly my fault it took so long. <laughs> Indeed. Come, Miko. Mm -hmm. So, the dragonborn appears at this moment in the Shining Sea. Uh, what, what does it mean to be dragonborn? First, let us see if you truly are. Uh, what? Do not be afraid. Your shout will not harm us. Very well. Dragon, it is you. Welcome to High Bunker. I am Master Arndir. I seek for the Grave. Now, tell me, Dragon Bone, why have you come here? I wish to know the meaning of Dragonborn. We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just oh, a torch there. <laughs> it's like, what's that effect? <laughs> there have been others like me. You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortals. Akatosh? Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. Fair enough. You can't have all the answers. Uh, who are you? What manner of place is this? We are the Greybeard, followers of the Way of the Horses. We stand in High Hrothgar, the slopes of Kinaris, sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer self. Hmm. That didn't really give me answers. Um, suppose I'm answering your summons. You did call me. We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to our bunker. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. Destiny? What, what is my destiny? That is for you. Helpful. <sighs> Destiny. Why don't I like the sound of that? Very well, I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and gentleness to follow the path of your destiny? Make an end to seek. Without failing, you have already taken the first step. 
Just etch that into the ground. Huh. Do I just do I just stand here? It's hard in the first place, no wall. Exactly. Oh. Just like that, apparently. Certainly is stronger than it was. Well done. Again. Uh, my voice isn't ready. Alright. Good thing they gave you time to recharge. Nothing appeared. There we go. So whereas they have to spend years studying, I can just learn it when I kill a dragon? That's fair. Sheesh. Let's not risk the game bloody crashing, yeah? You have to do that all over again. That's why I saved so much. How do you do that? Hmm. Alright. Oh, that is a strange sensation.
Okay. Whoa. Oh, okay. I see this being useful. Stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. Uh, I know not. It just happens. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. The three Gohorn of Jurgen Wimkora are found out from his tomb. Um, what is the meaning of Dragonborn? Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. I see. A few mortals are born with similar abilities, whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down through the centuries. What you have already learned in a few days took even the most gifted of us years. Some believe that dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. We will speak more of that later when you are ready. Okay. Why are shouts in the language of dragons? Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinneret granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest sound. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. Well, I have to kill a dragon first. I'm not sure I'd say almost without effort. Um, but speaking of dragons, what is the reason for their return? A am I the cause of this? No doubt the appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is thoroughly bound up with the return of a dragon. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made. Is there not more you can tell me? There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to understand. Do not let your easy mastery of the voice tempt you into the arrogance of power. That has been the downfall of many dragonborn before. I was not asking about power. I was asking regards for information. But fine. See that as you will. There are only four of you. That's quite a name. The world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to them. Hmm. I think that's all I'm most curious about at the moment. Sky watching. Well, we certainly learned a little bit, Nico. Don't mind if we stay the night. Try to not camp out in this horrible cold. Though I doubt they have guest rooms. a meeting room? Hazard the best guess that yes it is. A dragon war. Hmm. Do 
probably a lot of things I could learn from these men. A visit in the future will definitely be in order. Nico, calm down. You're being loud, and this place doesn't seem like it's used to loud noises. Goodness, they certainly have a large number of books. Braids. For some reason, that seems familiar to me. Can't put my finger on why. Ah, amnesia is stressful. Oh. There's only enough beds for the four of them. Oh well, I figured as much. Maybe if I'm quick, I can get back down to that inn. Come on, Miko. We're leaving. Hold up here. No surprise, truly. We're high up, after all. Just in case there's anything else out here. Alright, let's go. Oh, it's so cold. Come on, Miko. You're probably handling this far better than I am. You've got a nice fur coat. Getting down from here is not going to be quick. Too bad Dragonborn can't have wings. That'd be convenient. I suppose once I fulfilled their last task, I should ask them about any books they could recommend to me. I want to understand. Behind me. Good. <sighs> it's very cold up here. Let me get down as soon as possible. I suppose while Hind is just walking back down. <sighs> I don't know how much different my voice sounds when I talk for her. So like I said, it's something I'm working on, but I'm not really good at it. 
This is my first time RPing. Just get her down from here. She can rest at the inn. Fill up on some food and drink. We can also have her stop at home, I guess. Alright, okay. At least I'm managing it. Who bothered to count all these steps, by the way? <laughs> just wondering. Or we just guessed 7,000 steps. back down into town. Well, village, I should say. It's not really a town. It's tiny. Come on, Miko. We're almost back to winter. I'm very glad I left her down here. Much safer. I don't believe I'll be attacked, so perhaps I can afford to Calm down a little. Mm, definitely stopping at that inn. Could teleport home, but... Who knows, maybe there's some things people here need help with. Maybe guards, but guards are pretty busy with other matters sometimes. Winter, we're back. No! Not now! Why does this always happen when I don't have potions? I need to get inside and get inside effing quick. No, 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 no! Got to be kidding me. I don't need a dragon and these idiots at the same time. Let me load this. Special Hind is tired. She's thirsty and she's hungry. Oh, she's crap timing. I guess she's gonna camp out anyway because. This might be difficult otherwise. Eat all the leeks. Eat them. Crap. This is bad. I know like the first town you go to after this event is when those bozos show up. But I've never had them show up here after I'm leaving. Actually, I can't say that because they might have if I'd walked back down. I usually teleport. But because I have the I Need mod enabled, I can't do that without Hind suffering effects.
<laughs> yeah, some of them just probably stopped counting after a while. Heck, I'd stop keeping track. The worst part is the dragon is chilling around. Dude, it's like coming straight to me. Didn't think that was gonna work. I hate you. I do not need a dragon and those cultists after Hind at the same time. I seriously do not. It'll help at least a little. And I hate fighting dragons for the obvious reason is that it's a flying enemy. I got a ton of arrows. Gonna need them. How is it not breaking the houses? Seriously. It's not like dragons are light. Why can't we be friends, dude? I have the soul of a dragon, isn't that enough? Oh. I don't think the damage health is going to do much good. I don't want to get too close in case the cultists get involved, and I can't deal with them and a dragon all at the same time. Am I even hitting it? I'm kind of far away. It's gonna be one of the stupidest fights for a dragon anyone's ever seen, because I'm not daring to get too close. I hate everything. Land! Oof. Yeah, I got crit on my arrows. F you. There's Miko. Oh, there's Miko. Look at him getting straight in there. No fear. Ow. Crumbs. No! They always appear when I'm not ready for them. Every time, without sodding fail. <sighs> 
If it weren't for the cultists, I wouldn't have a problem fighting the dragon. But I can't deal with the dragon and them at the same time. I can barely deal with them and it. Heck, the dragon's gonna basically go through all my HP potions. I just like go and hide in here. Oh, hello. Mind if I borrow this for the night? Yes, you do. Well, it's still a building he can sleep in, so. Why not make use of it, yeah? And I'm going to do the same thing so Hein can at least get some rest. Someone there? Dragon, I don't exist. I don't exist. I don't exist. You don't see me. Dang it. I'm not here. You cannot see me. I don't exist. What the? Are you serious? They effing spawned near me. Because I was trying to hide from the dragon. Okay. Quickly. If the game crashes, I'm gonna cry. <sighs> okay, at least it's morning now so I can bloody see where I'm going. I don't really like just doing that, but <laughs> needs must. An effing dragon flying around, and the cultists are here too. I'm not even sure if I can deal with them, if I'm honest. Maybe we should just get out of here. Just see if I can report this to the dude. Crumbs, there they are. What do I do? Are you for reals? I can't do this. They're just gonna keep coming. Okay, we'll have to turn the quest in later. We need to GTFO like yesterday. I deal with the dragon at the very least, but not with them there I can't. Is it following me? I don't care if the dragon follows me, I just can't handle the cultists. It's 
Hope I don't regret this save. Isn't that a different dragon? It was a frost dragon before. Who is attacking it? Miko! Oh. Hi. Ow! Fire! It hurts. This is just a regular dragon, it's not a frost dragon. Okay, well there's the guards. Listen to that thud, it's like hearing a Tyrannosaurus Rex walk around. I do- I seriously need to not hit the guards. I don't need that on top of everything else right now. I'm afraid to get close to it. No, don't you dare go in the air! Is this the time? Yes, I am Dragonborn! <laughs> Crazy people! Wonderful! I don't need this after a dragon is attacked! Did the guards just... <laughs> well, these guards are capable of doing their jobs. <laughs> as soon as the dragon died, the cultists were going after Hind. Wow. Well, apparently I have anti-fans. Thank you for the assist. The guards literally just saved me there. <laughs> Take that, you don't need it. It's fantastic. Someone needs to give those guards a pay raise. Like, really? Don't feel bad for them, they were murderers. At the very least, they would have been. Um. Do not mark that. We're so not going over there for a long effing time. I hate that place. <laughs> oh, all right, now that all the excitement is over, uh, is this the end? Oh, perfect. I'm not really a drinker, but I think I could use some ale after that. <laughs> You have no idea, sir. Ah, good to see you again. 
How'd that delivery go? I delivered the supplies to High Hrothgar easily. Quite a climb, wasn't it? Oh, yes. Anyway, much appreciated. Here, take this for your troubles. <laughs> Thousand? Thanks again for the legwork. He just gave me... Dude! <laughs> Okay, Hine has a heck of a lot more money than I expected her to have right now. Oh, you don't say no key. You here to hear me play my lute? Uh, You've been a good friend to me. That means something. <laughs> you fancy a bit of music? Let me know. Right now, Hine would fancy a drink, a stiff one. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's... Pardon me? Tell me more about this borrow. There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted. You should stay away. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Do the spirits haunt your town as well? Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding. Certainly isn't helping my business. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted town? I could investigate for you. If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. <sighs> the last time I came across spirits in a location, they were being forced to stay there by a sorcerer. Take a look. Alright. Let's get some things for the road. <coughs> I have more wine. I know what to do with her right now. <coughs> you know what? She's so drinking that. Keep your eyes open in the barrel. That's how they get to you. Let's have Hein take a breather, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say effort and reload my save when the cultist came up right as the dragon was dying, but I figured, you know what, let's roll with this. So that's why I immediately voiced Hine and said, I Is this really the time? Yes, I am dragonborn. <laughs> that's actually kind of funny now that I'm looking back on it in my head. Maybe I should highlight that. Worst timing ever. <laughs> Because it really was bad timing. <laughs> well, Hind was traumatized after she got out of a stinking Helgen. She didn't remember ever being in a fight before or having to kill people, so that messed her up for a while. But Hadvar was able to deal with it pretty okay and help her work through it. <laughs> Alright, she's gonna suck that Ulta wine down. Eating out of thin air. There. Oh, that was stress I did not need. <laughs> okay, let me go get the stuff off my face. It's been more than long enough. So I'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> I'm sick. And I think. You know what? I could use a drink after that, too. <laughs> Luckily, I happen to have some vodka. Only put a splash of it in some soda, because I don't like alcohol that much. <laughs> but I'm going to do it for once. <laughs> so I'll be right back. <laughs> transgressed against your God and your fellow men. You have been a willing vessel for the following sins. Unlawful avarice. Two counts of grand larceny of church property. 
Seven counts of grand larceny of private property. Nine counts of extortion from friends of mortal harm. Four counts of... Okay, that person probably deserved getting sent here. <laughs> Being unwilling to obtain an occupation of value to society. <laughs> Enticing citizens into conduct of a wanton and depraved nature. Civil envy. Two counts of blackmailing a church official. Eight counts of attempting to corrupt a member of the Ebony Legion. Two counts of inciting the public to riotous behavior. Unlawful vanity. Eighteen counts of verbal abuse of a church official. Twenty-seven counts. A verbal abuse of an officer of the Ebony Legion. <coughs> Eight counts of publicly promoting unlawful and lecherous practices. Oh my god! Narcotic gluttony. <laughs> Thirteen counts of supplying narcotic substances. Four counts of cultivating narcotic substances. One count of public obscenity whilst under the influence of narcotic substances. Pecuniary lust. It just keeps going! Two counts of directing an establishment of unrepute. <laughs> Six counts of prostitution involving unholy and degrading acts. What? <laughs> Mercantile of wrath. Eleven counts of common homicide for pecuniary gain. Four counts of homicide of an officer of the Ebony Legion for pecuniary gain. Two counts of episcopacide for pecuniary gain. One count of matricide for pecuniary gain. God has charged me with your redemption. Your... Dude! <laughs> I think that person deserved to get set here. Yeah, you creeping around here like a freak. These are not my favorite types of puzzles. But you can see what you need to do. Well, there won't be two statues no matter what I do here. Okay, they all move if I use them. Yeah. I did not. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I was just trying to figure out how the statues moved first. Then I was gonna play with the puzzle. <laughs> I BS'd my way through the puzzle effing again. <laughs> That's funny. Ah, oh, crap. Someone break it. I heard my voice, so I'm back. <laughs> Let me just stick my soda on top of that little splash of vodka. It's less than a shot glass. That tells you how much I'm not a fan of alcoholic drinks. <laughs> I think I need a little kick after that bs though. Wait for the bubbles to go down. Ugh, indeed. <laughs> Stinking A. A dragon on top of the two cultists. Although the guards killed the cultists, so <laughs> I didn't really have to do anything there. So the guards actually did their job. They protected me when I got in trouble. 
They have a mod that makes the townsfolk run away when there's danger. So I gotta tell you, I did not like them getting involved in battle. They ended up dead half the time. And then I would be having to reload a save file and trying to keep them alive, the imbeciles. <laughs> Arrow, I didn't say you could do that. <sighs> so, that was fun. <laughs> Take a nice little drink of this. Ugh. Can barely tell it's in there. And that's what I like. <clears throat> okay. Huh. That's enough of a break. Hello. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Tommy spoke already. Doesn't someone have a side quest in here? Hmm. What a boring conversation. I hate that if dude's you voice. Of music, let me know. Uh, what instrument do you play? <coughs> play the lute. If you'd like to hear something, it only costs five gold. Merely five gold. I'd easily pay twice that to hear you play. Isn't that a little low? That's so sweet of you. I'll tell you what. I'll play a special song <laughs> just for you, for no charge at all. That's not what I was going for. Uh, the dialogue box is stuck. Aha! <laughs> Right, I have animations for that. Oh, how nice. Very nice. <clears throat> okay. There are mods that let you be a bard, but I've never found one that doesn't work weirdly. I suppose while I'm here, I can talk to the townsfolk, see if anyone needs anything. It's not like the greybeards need me to do things right away. Plus, I could use a bit of a breather after that. Truly, apparently there's someone who doesn't like the thought of another dragonborn out there. Well, it's not my fault. I was just born like this. Indeed. Oh, hello. Pick that up. <clears throat> hello, my friend. What can I do for you on such a fine day? <laughs> Greetings. You seem quite happy. My father taught me an important lesson. Whatever you want to be. So I took his advice, and here I am. This life might not look like much to you, but be content. Isn't that all that matters? Indeed. Have yourself a great day. You as well. Hmm, that's a nice outlook, actually. Uh, hello. This has to be the worst place in Skyrim to run. 
run a mill. How am I supposed to do anything with all those bears running around? Uh, um, you seem troubled. What's making you so angry? My business is falling apart. My apprentice <coughs> never listens to me. And now there's talk of dragons. Oh, did you miss the corpse back there? If I sunk every bit of gold I had into my mill, I would have picked up and left Iberstead long ago. I see. Are bears troubling you? Are you kidding? Those damn things will drive me right out of business. Tell you what. Bring me ten of their pelts from anywhere in Skyrim. I'll gladly pay you for thinning out the herd. How could bears possibly run you out of business? Have you ever seen what a bear does to the trees? They jump on their hind legs and scratch them to bits, marking their territory or something. It's getting to the point where I have to scour Skyrim for untouched trees of the right size. Cost me too much time and money. Fair enough. All right, I'll deal with the problem for you, I suppose. Now go give those stupid bears what's coming to them. There must be a lot of bears in this area. All right, Miko, let's go find Winter, shall we? Hmm? Hello. Forgive me if I'm a bit on this. Your daughter? Get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone. Uh, hello? Oh, you're a traveler. You must have so much to tell about the world outside this boring town. Uh, perhaps, but I am in a bit of a hurry. I wish I could go with you. Learn how to defend yourself and I might think about it. I'd rather not have to babysit someone. All the terrible timing for a dragon to appear. Where's my bloody horse gone? <laughs> I don't know where Winter ran off to. Don't know if I'll make her come after me or not. Nice. Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're okay, Winter. Hey, once I improve my smithing skills, I'll make you some different type of armor. The leather is well and good. But with dragons, I think you're gonna need something a little better than leather. And you did good back there, too. Good boy, Miko. Although I suppose before we leave, I should check this place out. Hmm, well... I need some better potions first, I suppose. Alright, in that case, how about we all go home? We can come back... Actually, I'm curious about something. If I use the teleport spell, if I picked it up, then will they come with me? And will Hind suffer effects like she fast traveled? Well, Miko's here, and Hines suffered no ill effects, so that was actually pretty useful. Although we'll have to walk back up there again. <laughs> but it's okay. We needed to come here. We needed to be home. You know, I like the big castles by this mod creator, I really do. There's a lot of storage space. But there's this one modded house I, I used at one point. It was this tiny little shack looking thing, but it was designed just right. That had a lot of things that were... Still, you had room to do stuff, so it was pretty awesome. 
problem was it didn't have an awesome bath. <laughs> yes, that was the main reason I didn't go with it. Uh, do I have anything other than bear pelts? Saber cat pelt. Wolf pelt. Alright, we need to save the bear pelts for the lady. <clears throat> Although those might weigh me down, so I probably should think of storing them. Uh, okay, yeah, I did put dragon stuff in here. Good. Those really weigh you down. What else am I carrying that's heavy? Quite possibly the pelts. And that. That'd do it. There we go. Oh, that took like 20 weight off of her. <laughs> yeah, I might just store those pelts. Just to take some weight off of Hind. Mm -hmm. I think the rest of this will go into the kitchen. You're someone who can get the finest weapons in all. Yeah, yeah. Can I sell anything to you? Doesn't appear that way. All right then. All right, let's just dump the bear pelts in here. You don't need to be carrying them around all the time. Oh wow! Look how much those were weighing. Yeah, we're storing those. <laughs> That's way too much. It's so good to see you again. <laughs> Probably should have saved. Watch it crash. <laughs> mm. Oh my word, it didn't crash. I just come to expect the worst when it comes to Skyrim. <laughs> you can't really blame me. I mean, it's like when Bethesda releases stuff for Skyrim, it's usually broken or half broken. Then the mod community has to fix it. That's a great way to show your fans that you care about them. Okay, ingredients don't go in there, they go in here. Okay, I've got some things I can sell. Though I'm not sure who to sell it to. However, I do also need food. I'm not sure I've got much left in storage. 
Uh huh, exactly. I love the dress this person's wearing, by the way. Need something? Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Yeah, more in the area of buy my crap from me. Farewell. Okay, that's everything I didn't need to be carrying. Still have a hundred weight, but better than it was. Well, that does mean I can equip the backpack while we're in here. Okay, what's in here? Is it just tea? Tea and juice. <laughs> Alright, looks like we're gonna have to make some food. Might have to spawn some stuff in though. Oh wait. Okay, I don't want her to just carry around cake and dessert though. Carry a few things around, but not a bunch. Linda needs more than desserts. <laughs> Alright, prepare to not be able to move. I might have to spawn some stuff in just so I can do this because of that mod I had enabled a little while ago. That mod is cool for alchemy and such, and potions, but the way it handles the potions is actually inconvenient for me. Do I not have to spawn stuff in? So make sure we have stuff to drink, yeah? Alright, let's just go with that. I don't want to go crazy making food. Should we switch her armor up? Although I really don't wear the riding armor that often, but we haven't worn some of the other stuff in a while. I think all of this just goes in here. Or the rest of it goes in the other one. But part of me, I don't know if I need this for anything. I gotta be careful not to put my food in here. <laughs> oh, I didn't check the farm. I should have done that. Whoops. Well, we can still go over there and do it. No big deal.
think it's pretty obvious, but a lot of the food items I spawned them in because it would have been way too much effort to go around and hunt everything. When Hind can hunt something, she usually does though. Alright, let's make this a little more manageable here. I don't think either of these get smaller. Okay. Let's put a little bit of some of this away. We don't need to carry all of it. Although she is going to be away for a while, but I don't know. That one actually looks kind of nice. <laughs> that looks like a weird ice cream that's melted. Okay, let's just go with that and hope it'll be enough. Alright, though unfortunately we have a fun thing to do now. I have to redo her skill tree so that she can make some potions real quick. Which, I'm very happy that my favorite streamer Jake recommended a mod to me for that. Otherwise I'd have to figure out how to balance out all my points. I think we will switch her armor up. Hey, maybe you even you can pick it if you want, fire. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> Actually, what do I have in here? I have 20 of these. Is this just all stuff I made too many of on accident? I think so, I just never got around to selling it. Um. Okay, I can actually use most of this right now. <laughs> Give me that. Well, actually... Well, right now that one is better. Come on, let me look. I'm not as concerned about the invisibility potions. I won't need those till we do the Thieves Guild quest line. And I only ever make these for money. Not that Hind really needs it right now. <laughs> She's got a lot of money at the moment. 28 bottles of restore health. Plus five more. Now let's just take these along. They're already pre-made. Yeah, you can tell which one of these was on my mod. Well, 
I don't have to make any potions after all. There's a bunch of them in storage I meant to get rid of but never did. <laughs> well, either way, I have to redo my skill tree now. There was something I messed up on it before, so it's okay. Okay, and that's as much as I do for that, just so it's easier to cast. Uh, I don't really have any more elven ingots, so there's no point in me messing with this. That's technically what her quarter staff is. I shouldn't be able to do that with the crew, with the <laughs> staff. Um, sure, I guess. I don't know if I'll do that or not, though. I don't mind that. Okay, I did put a couple things into this. Mostly because I wanted to be able to tap that thing. Now here's my thing with the sneak tree. If you just move slowly and you're careful, things aren't going to notice you. Trust me, I've had hilarious occasions where I snipe something with an arrow, I go hide behind a corner and I stay there crouched, and I'll have an enemy walk right past me, they don't even notice me, and they go back to their post. And I am just sitting over here laughing my butt off because they didn't even know I was there. And I had no points in sneak. So long as your character can't be seen, you're okay. The only reason I'm doing this is because it's marginally helpful and there's stuff on here that is useful. That'd be kind of nice, but I tend to avoid them anyway. That'd be cool, but I have to get all these other ones for that too. Surely the only parts of this that I wanted were... It was really just that that I wanted. I had to put a couple points in it though. Now I can level this up again, but I'm not sure. And lock picking, I think yeah, if you want to, it's something okay to put points in, but I've never bothered. All you need is to have a crap ton of lock picks, and I always have a ton of these stupid things. Or you just save your game first, and then you keep trying. It's really just take your time and be patient with it. Push it all the way to one side, left or right, and then inch forward and keep trying it till you get close to the point where it's going to open. I do it all the time. That would be useful, honestly. No, I'm good without that. Find more golden chests. Can't send out of that. Finding special treasure, ooh. Okay, that would be nice. Lock picks never break, that'd be nice too, but like I said, as long as you're careful, you're pretty fine. Now pickpocket, I hate pickpocketing, seriously. You have no idea how much I hate doing this. 
I save every time I have to do that because it's just so frustrating. And speech, um, I've never really tried to mess with speech. Not really. <laughs> I only summoned one thing from Conjuration, so I don't think I need it that badly. Same thing for Restoration. When am I going to use two spells from it? Alteration, I'm not even using it. Enchanting, I'll get there, but we need to level that up. So, I have some extra points left. I could put another one in Sneak. I don't really mind. Is there anything else I can do for this that I care about? We can go for archery. Oh, I only use it sometimes now. It's mostly good for when I'm trying to be careful. Hmm. You know what? Let's drop one on this because we're going to need that eventually here soon. Alright, hind is set then. Okay. Let's go do what the Greybeards told us to. We have our potions, we have some food. Although... Yeah. Let's... Yeah, let's do the thing with the armor. I'll let you look at him if you want, you can pick one fire. I try to change it up every so often. Although while I was doing the companion's quest line, she kind of stuck with one particular armor type the whole time. I figured it was practical enough, but Fenimin. Okay, I've got Silent Mist. And then this one. That was the one I wore for the companion's quest line. So I only have these other couple of armor types. So this one, Silent Mist, or we can keep going with what we're going with. I'm just gonna turn the PS4 off for now. I'm not really using it. Skyrim requires focus. Having a hard time picking fire? You know, blow my nose while you're figuring out what you want to do. At least it's only a couple of options, whereas with all my baked goods on stream, <laughs> tons. Silent Mist! Hey. Alright, we'll go with Silent Mist. And I think I should have Hind kind of clean up a little when she goes out. Yeah, it's been a while.
I do like the riding armor, but there's just so many pieces to it that it kind of gets annoying to deal with. Alright, I guess I could change her jewelry if I felt like it. And since we're getting to a certain point, I think I know what I'm going to grab. Uh, yes. I'd go with the heart necklace, but I felt like going with this instead. Okay, let's have Hind go downstairs to take a bath, and then we'll go. Well, actually, hang on. I should tend to her garden first. Get all her potion ingredients and food. Which will take me a little bit, unfortunately, but I wanted to make sure she was good to go. I like the thought of my character being self-sufficient. Will she buy stuff if she has to? Yes, and Hein can definitely afford to. And hilariously, the reason I want her to have so much money is because of something she'll say to Brynjolf in fanfic when he mentions she didn't do an honest day's work in her life for all her coin when actually she did. <laughs> so the first time he gives her a job as part of the guild, she pauses, turns around, and goes, Oh, Brynjolf, you are wrong, by the way. This was all honest work. <laughs> I just figured that would be kind of funny. <laughs> she only becomes part of the Thieves Guild because she happens to need a little bit of extra coin. Like, have I actually done that yet? Sort of. I started it, but then walked away from it because I had Hein go, you know what, this is going to clean me out for the most part, so let's wait till I have more money. That's basically a big reason she'll join the guild. How she gets to there, though... <laughs> when he says that to you. What do you mean? Well, for Hein's situation, it's just kind of funny because she just goes, tilts her head, and is like, um... You're wrong, sir, but I'll let you keep thinking that for now. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's go to her farm. Save again. I always have problems going in and out of the castle. <laughs> Why does my model keep turning that way? Stop it. Well, I just saved, so if it crashes, I'm not upset about it. At least not entirely. Oh! Uh, it's nighttime. Alright, let's go back inside and sleep till morning. <laughs> Welp. <laughs> FNA. <laughs> Don't even know all the lyrics to that, and I keep humming the tune. Oh, it's funny though. I think that'll be fine. Or 
the way, I get PM and AM mixed up really easily, so you'll watch me do that eventually. <laughs> okay, let's take a pit stop to the kitchen, because I can just use the water keg. I don't want to have Hein drink her tea unless she's out and about. Because I'll run out of it right quick otherwise. I'd have her carry around water skins like a regular person, but they actually weigh a lot. <laughs> That's why I don't do it. I just have her drink tea. Some more water. There. You need something? Nope, I'm good. It was like for my fanfic idea for this too, I found my way to explain some of the game mechanics. But the one and only thing I couldn't figure out was the skill trees. <laughs> and since I just cannot for the life of me figure out how to explain that, <laughs> I just decided I was going to ignore it yeah. and Hind would just improve as she read books and did combat and such and other things. Because I couldn't figure out how to mess with that in fanfic. <laughs> Bloodborne's easy. <laughs> I mean, it's Yarnum. You're in a place where nothing at the, in the at the moment makes sense. I think I can get away with some BSery. <laughs> so I managed it with Bloodborne, although I haven't really tried to write that fanfic either at the moment. <laughs> Novelized fanfics are a lot of work, man. <laughs> They're fun. And it's cool when you accomplish it, but dang it, <laughs> they take some work. Alright, let's go visit Heinz Farm. It's not that far away. I actually put it in the place it is because when I played this on the PS4 and the mods I got off of that... There was one mod that put a farm outside of Whiterun. And that's what I used for a lot of my alchemy ingredients and some food items. But on the PC, that mod doesn't appear to exist. I tried finding it and it just was nowhere to be found. And eventually, I found planters. I can make them or spawn them in. I prefer spawning them in because otherwise they're a pain in the butt to get. <laughs> I just pretended Hind gathered the materials and made them. I only spawn things in when it's too frustrating to mess with. And she needed a lot of planters. Because I wanted to make sure she had supplies. Here we are. Although the farm I had from the PS4 mod was actually right here, not over there. This just happened to work pretty well is all. Can't need the horse not to follow me up there. Pick up. Wait there, please. So, welcome to my farm. I have food and potion ingredients, gut effing lore. 
And I have multiple things planted like this because these only give me one of each. And there's only five spots on the soil, so... <laughs> this way I at least get ten. They're working on it. It's po There's supposed to be an update at some point where you can do some gardening. I thought they were going to be doing it soon, but apparently they were doing some other updates. So they haven't done that quite yet. And heck, I'm already kind of thinking of just redoing my current status on it, my current progress, doing a new save file. Which remind, makes me remind myself why I don't do first time playthroughs. I prefer to know what I'm doing before I play the game. Like, on stream or recording. Maria always says people like watching a player grow. And that's cool. Heck, even I'll watch first time playthroughs sometimes. But usually I like watching someone knows what they're effing doing. <laughs> And for me, it's just the matter of, I'd rather know what I'm doing than look stupid. <laughs> it's not like I made any mistakes with Potion Craft that were incredibly bad, mind you. It's just, there's some decisions I made that I feel like I could improve on. Like how I instantly started working on getting that lab in the basement fixed up. I never even started touching that when I got it. I just left it there. If I'm not going to mess with it, then I just shouldn't buy it. I should just focus on making potions. Save up money. And then once I'm ready to begin messing with things, then I'll start working on the lab in the basement. There we go. Come on. It's a problem with some of these planters. It's hard to find the right spot where you can harvest something. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> Don't pick on me. Thank you. Creep cluster, you can barely effing see it. I actually gathered that too, I didn't just spawn it in. Things I knew where I could find them, I did collect them. Things where I didn't know where to get a bunch of them in one sitting, I spawned them in. Stuff I couldn't grow, I also spawned that in. I mean, I was going to try to get salt without spawning it in, but you either need to buy that from vendors or find it. And I wasn't having a lot of luck finding it at one point in time, so I figured, you know what, F this. I am just going to spawn a crap ton of it in. And then keep the code. I actually have a bunch of console command codes written down. There's just some times where it's easier to spawn something in. With the moon sugar, I think it was like that, but I might have bought it from a merchant. Like, just one of it, and then I planted it, waited for it to grow, and planted it again until I had all five. 
So that works well enough too. Is it still windy out there? Not really. The rain also appears to have calmed down. We've kind of been thinking about going out and trying to weed. It's still December though, so I'm not sure. Well, I would think if one wants to garden, wouldn't it be wiser to try to clean up ahead of time? That way there's not much there to do when you are ready to start planting. I don't know, that just seemed, I, that's just what I would figure to do. Have it ready ahead of time. That's what I like to do. It's also why I haven't tried to make any of my necklaces and such for jewelry yet. Also, I don't know how to use the crimp the bead and I'm kind of worried about it. <laughs> it's like, I have an idea how that's going to work, but I'm not positive. I'll either have to YouTube it or something. And I am really contemplating having some money transferred from my savings to my checking so I can buy more beads this month. Give me the death bell. I hate that in the planters, these are the vanilla designed mountain flowers. Except for the yellow one there. Don't know why it works that way. See, look at this. It's all puffy and it looks pretty. Whereas the rest of the mountain flowers don't look this pretty. I don't know why the mod decided to do that. Alright, so that right there is why you can see that I don't usually show the harvesting for that. But if it's ready to go, I should pick it up. I'll just wait till later. Whoops. Alright, let's get out of here. On the subject of the gardening too, I really have thought about streaming it. I'm just not sure if it would go well. I mean, for one thing, I'm gonna be bored doing that, so I'm gonna need something to listen to. And there's a lot of copyright music on my phone. <laughs> Maybe song covers are okay? I don't know. I can try that. I probably have to delete the VOD afterward, but that's okay. Another problem is the f internet access on the phone isn't great, so it's gonna lag or have problems in any measure. And otherwise I can't really stream while I'm outside. I can only use the phone. I think while I'm close to the house, it should be okay, but I just don't know. Heck, I'm not even sure how entertaining that would be for people to watch. Just gonna be sitting there listening to my music with me while I'm trying to yank up all the weeds and crap. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I, don't, I haven't really watched anyone do that myself, so I don't know how entertaining that is. I do know gardening is hard work. I've done weeding before and I can do it for like an hour before my body says, okay, that's enough, we're in pain and we're tired, let's stop. Basically, that's what happens. <laughs> but I'd like to grow things. I just need room to grow them. I could probably buy some planter boxes, but... Fire. It seems like you'd watch anything I would do. <laughs> oh, well, this does please me. I have to think of other viewers too, sir. <laughs> but yeah, I 
but you're right. There's a lot of people who like gardening. Just, I constantly worry about whether or not someone's going to want to watch something I'm doing. Especially since I am trying to reach affiliate now. Oh, that's what I meant to do for the title today. I can <laughs> How did I forget that? Wow. That's funny. <laughs> okay, I should have done this the other way around first. Oh, well. Try to split this in half best way that we can. At least that one's easy to split in half. <laughs> Don't think I use that for cooking. All right, the rest of this goes in the kitchen then. Speaking of supportive, I'm not saying you have to do it, but I'm just letting you know it's there. On the throne account, I actually put some glass beads up. So not only could you support me by buying those, but you also helped me be able to make jewelry faster. And they're actually kind of cheap. I was trying to think of small donation type things where people would donate maybe five or ten dollars, perhaps twenty. And those are mostly cheap. Heck, one of them even has three different options. <laughs> But I figured I'd put some of the more cheap beads up there and people want to support that way they can. Of course I'd have to keep putting it up every time someone bought it. <laughs> and Bane out of 3 still hasn't arrived so I'm a little worried. But I'm not going to look into it until next month. Because if it still hasn't arrived by then, I should be extra worried. <laughs> Alright, and everything goes into the chest. Cabbage, carrot, gourd. Okay. The other thing is the potions, but I'm going to have to sell those at a shop. The reason I sound unhappy about that is there's, high pro there's a high probability that I'm going to come across a dragon. <laughs> I may have made it so vampires can't attack settlements, but dragons are different. Gosh, who was there for that when I had a vampire attack and I was so not prepared for? <laughs> Probably Renegade. <laughs> it was funny later, but at the time I was so mad. Here, eat one of the dumplings. Just to make sure she's good to go. Alright, let's have Hind go take a quick bath. I might switch the animation back to the base one because the only other one I've gotten to work looks really effing weird. <laughs> they tried to design the animation well, they did, don't get me wrong, but it looks funny <laughs> to me. I don't even know why the other animations aren't working. I have the recommended and required mods. So I really don't understand why it's not working. <laughs> not that I have a waterfall in here for showers, but whatever. You know what I mean, it'd just be nice if all the animations worked.
Just watch the really weird animation do its thing. You can tell they tried to make it look, quotation marks, interesting. <laughs> but it's too twitchy and stilted. It's why I say they tried. <laughs> they tried. I'll give him that they tried. They just didn't quite manage it perfectly. Miko, you're gonna smell like a wet dog. Get out of there. <laughs> oh, I'd imagine. <laughs> I gotta swing that way, Minnie, but I can't help but watch. It's just when something moves, my eyes get drawn to it, so yeah. <laughs> okay, let's put her jewelry on. Oh, whoops, double tapped. All right, Hind is now ready to go. But you have to admit, the animation was a little funny. <laughs> they did their best, though. I'll give them that. <clears throat> I'm probably going to switch back to the base animation, though. Just <laughs> Alright though, our hind is ready to go do her task for the Greybeards. Alright, and pop the backpack and she's ready to go. Something that you actually can't tell unless I zoom in a lot. Her eyes are actually a dragon's eyes. I found a mod for that. I wanted there to be another sign to her being dragonborn. Just because. <laughs> mm, that's something I wanted to test, but I can't really test it without doing that whole thing. I'll just have to be careful till then. <laughs> well, I could have gotten feigned all. Tested it that way. Yeah, I could have done that. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> oh, sure, as soon as I lift up my cup to get a drink. F you two game. Alright, let's go. Where's Miko? There he is. Well, off we go. I'm not exactly sure where we're going though. Where is this? All the way over there. Have we even been to Morthal? Well, we probably passed through when we were heading to Solitude to find Miko. Did we go into Solitude though? I actually don't remember. Yeah, I literally don't remember if we went in there. Okay, so if I want to get over there, I'm gonna have to follow a path along here somewhere, go around the back. And then make a turn somewhere here. Or go through Morthal and head that way somewhere. I, I keep on forgetting to get an improved map from a mod. Although I'm on my computer, it's not going to be able to handle it. Speaking of, it has been two hours. Maybe I should think of switching games. I kind of wanted to get as much done as possible this stream, but I don't know. Maybe I should at least reach the location. Mm -hmm. 
Although I do find the game lags more when I'm on the horse. I mean, winter's literally only here in case I get over encumbered. <laughs> She's so fast that Miko can't keep up, and if I get in trouble and need his help, I have to wait for him to- I have to try to hold out. <laughs> Not good. Alright, so let's just go. <clears throat> Besides, exercise is good for you. Midna says even though she hardly ever exercises, though she should. <laughs> And let's try to at least get to, whatchamacallit, Ustengrav? I, I forget how I'm supposed to pronounce that. <laughs> I'm not good with these names. They're too complicated for me. <laughs> Takes a while for me to memorize them. And then pronounce them correctly. Okay, hang on. Just in case this bloody dies. Game does not like it when I go over here. It tends to crash a lot. If it doesn't crash, I will be astonished. Go, oh, come on! <laughs> Enough with the Sandman song. Ah. <laughs> uh... Sing a tune that you know the words to. Grr. Huh. It actually didn't crash. I'm amazed. It's always stuck in my head. Who are you kidding? Oh, by the way, isn't that really pretty, that arrangement? The lavender and the mountain flower? They look really good together like that. I never would have thought purple and blue go well together until I looked at this one day when I was playing. It's like, you know, that actually looks pretty. <laughs> I know crap all about color coordinating or whatever. I just go with what kind of I think looks good. That my wardrobe is kind of simple. Because I can't be bothered with extreme fashion. Too much work. There's girls out there who know it so well that they do it easily. And of course, one of my cousins was ridiculous. I know, right? There are actual mountain flowers, but you'd have to probably have to be on a mountain to get them. <laughs> Although, they're growing right here on the ground, but I suppose I'm not that far away from mountains. The wind could have blown the seeds over here, I guess. Oop, hind is hungry. Here, eat the meatballs. I should fill you up. I love that I'm just carrying a skillet pan in my inventory, though. <laughs> I just kind of figure, like, her backpack is enchanted. Heck, she had a bunch of magical enchanted items in it when she found it again. <laughs> Starting with her map and compass, how I BS my way through how this thing up here works. It's an enchanted compass and map. Ah! <laughs> of course. <laughs> Come on, I just want to get to the location, then I swear I'll stop playing. <laughs> My PC does take issue if I play the game too long. <laughs> Especially if I'm streaming it. Yes, maybe it's a good idea for me to eventually switch games here soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Skyrim's not the most stable game in the world. <laughs> <sighs> oh, 
Okay, yeah, I think we're just gonna get there then. Call it with Skyrim. Then I'll temporarily stop stream, then bring it back up with a different game. That way I don't have to edit anything. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to edit regardless, but I'd rather make it easier on myself. to hear it listen to the song so I can't come along with it properly. <laughs> hmm. Actually, what time is it? 11 for on the afternoon. I think I could probably do another game for like an hour, another two hours. Then I could try my gardening idea. Because it seems like you're pretty chill with that. <laughs> Fires chill with anything, which is funny because of your username. <laughs> <clears throat> Still can't believe how long it took me to do that stupid picture. I just wanted to do something nice for you, and <laughs> it took me ages to figure out how to do that. Probably would have been easier if I just drew it directly on there, but no, I had to do it the fancy way. <laughs> Did those respawn per chance? No. That takes a while sometimes. <laughs> it took a bit of effort, but it was worth it in the end. I don't like how stuff is slowly spawning in as I keep walking. That just gives me some uncertain vibes here. Having to travel everywhere on foot or horseback is where you start missing the option to fast travel. Now arguably I can still do it. I'm just choosing not to. And I see that icing over there. I can fanfic? Ah, oh, no. <laughs> okay, that's not promising. Maybe we can't get over there. The game is having problems. Well, it's going on three hours, so I guess it's understandable. Skyrim by itself taxes the PC, but streaming at the same time doesn't help. Give this another try, and then I think I'll end stream temporarily to start up a different game. At the very least, I'll end up on a save number that won't bother my OCD. <laughs> there are mods out there that improve the game's combat. 
as well as make enemies smarter. I gotta say, um, I've never really liked those. If I want to deal with difficult combat, I'll play the Witcher. Which I do intend to do at some point. Well, I got the icing. Too bad Renegade's not here. That's a running joke between us. Do you think we should just call it here since it's having problems? Yeah, that might be a good idea, actually. Yeah, let's call that right there. I mean, it lasted for almost three hours. That's pretty good for Skyrim. Whoa. <laughs> Let me wind this up so it's not in my way. I gotta clean up all my cords down here, dude. I'll get to it. Now where'd that key just go? I actually flung a key off my keyboard. There it is. Alright, I fixed it. Okay, let me set this up real quick, don't mind me. Is gonna reach actually. Moving the computer over there might not have been the best call. Computer, you don't need to turn as a whole. I wanted that to turn, not the rest of it. Alright, so give me this, which is wrapped up in a bunch of other cords. Of course, it bloody is. I mean, isn't it? Alright, I'm just doing some prep. I guess I didn't play anything else after that. All right. Your Skyrim crashed every hour? Wow, that's bad. That is bad. Okay. Well, I'm going to end stream temporarily. I'll change everything around, and then we'll start up the next game. So stick around. Don't go anywhere. I'll turn the stream back up very soon. So BRB, I guess.